Ken Ufay coming through against Michelle Lee of Canada. Next up is, a, is men's doubles, and it's a repeat of the recent French Open final. It's the three-time defending champions Gideon and Sukumolio up against Ranki Reddy and Shetty from India. So when we look at the men's doubles draw from the quarter-final stage, we can see that there's seven different nationalities because two pairs from Indonesia, the number one and two seeds, two pairs incidentally from Europe, a German pair and an English pair, and it's some time since that's happened when we haven't had a European pair that's included a Danish combination. So wonderful to see the Germans and the English pair doing well here. By uh, quarterfinals, we only had four seeds, two in each half of the draw. Uh, by semi-finals, we've only got two seeds, but four different nationalities in the semi-finals. And that's the first time it's happened here at this China Open for six years. The other thing worth noting is no Chinese pairs in the semi-final, and it's the first time at this China Open for seven years since a Chinese pair has failed to get through to the semi-final stage. So we were talking about no Chinese players in the men's singles semi-final, no Chinese pairs in the men's doubles semi-finals. But here come the pairs we are about to see. It's the three-time defending champions. Marcus Fernaldi Gidebien and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio up against Sakvik Sairaj Ranki Reddy and Shiraj Shetty. Well, the Indonesian pair on a quest to become the first ever men's doubles pair to win the same Super Series or World Tour tournament four consecutive times. No pair in the history of the Super Series has managed to do so. But of course, they've got to win two more matches before they can achieve that status. But they have a very healthy record against the Indian pair. As you can see, they've never lost a match. In fact, they've only ever lost one game. Eighth meeting last time, that final of the French Open, I was telling you about, 21-18, 21-16 in 35 minutes. The Gideon Sukumolio won their seventh title of the year in Paris. So, the change of ends before the two-minute warm-up period begins. So the Indonesian pair, eight finals this year from 14 tournaments played. That really is remarkable. Mind you, for this pair, they've been in three finals from only 10 tournaments because uh, they had to miss so many tournaments because of an injury to Ranky Reddy. But Shiraz Shetty is 22 years of age, born in Mumbai, or Bombay as it used to be called, enjoying their third week at number nine but I have calculated that they will go up two places in the world ranking after this tournament at least two places after their semi-final here Satwik Sairaj Ranki Reddy is just 19 years of age from Umanapuram in Andhra Pradesh and they're making their third consecutive appearance here at this China Open. They were quarter-finalists last year, lost out to a Sun and Seti one. This year, uh, they've had a great run through uh, Philip and Ryan Chu from America in the first round. Three games against Endo and Watanabe, the number six seeds from Japan. Actually had two game match points to win it in two straight games against the Japanese pair. Quarter-final against the former world champions, Li Junfei and Li Yu Chen, the number three seeds, 21-19, 21-15. So a second victory over the former world champions for the pair from India. So to Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, he's 28 years of age, and he and his partner enjoying their 123rd week in total as world number ones. Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio is 24 years of age, born in Bangiwangi. 
and they are making their fourth consecutive appearance here and as they're three-time defending champions it means they've never lost here in Fujo as a pair beat the Olympic silver medalists in the first round Govu Shem and Tamwi Kiong uh, then in the second round it was actually a repeat of last year's final against her Ji Ting and Tang Chiang and as with last year's final they dropped the opening game before coming back to win it then that quarter final against Mark Lamsfuss and Marvin Seidel of Germany so our court officials for this one both from China and Steen, just a quick word before they get underway about, I've pointed out, and I don't mean it of any disrespect to you Danes, but normally when we talk about Europeans in men's doubles uh, quarterfinal latter stages in recent years, we've been talking about Danish pairs. Great to see the English pair and the German pair doing so well. They, they've done really well in the language, you know, is they have... Um Ever since they won the Olympic bronze medal, they've gone from um, surprise to surprise. And uh, Lamps was in Seidel, where I'm told that Lamps was actually playing on a broken foot. I heard that too. Um, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Such is the desire to keep the Olympic qualifying dreams alive. Yeah. So the three-time defending champions, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio, far side of the court as we all look down against the unseeded Arenki Reddy and Shetty. So a simple question, Steen, which I don't think probably has a simple answer, which is what have the Indian pair got to do differently to record their first ever victory over Gideon and Sukumolio? Um, I don't think they can. They played really well yesterday, but that was against players who looked a lot like themselves, tall players, where some of uh, Shetty's um, um, key competencies at the net got into play. He was simply the best net player uh, in that match. He's not going to be the best net player in this match. I can guarantee you that. Well, initially, the service judge called in then called out, made the right decision in the end. Yes, th th to pick up on your point, I don't think there's any player in the world that's quite as quick and dynamic as Kevin Sanjay Sukhumolio at the front of the court, so he's not going to win that battle. He's not going to win that battle. Um, I would say they had to put pressure on um, Max Gideon. Um, we saw the match, uh, I think, together when they played Hu Jiting and uh, Tang Kiang. Yeah. And he looked a little um, hesitant at some times in the first game. I must say he he uh, picked up nicely throughout the rest of the game. But um, I think that's that's the player to target. I mean, trying to um, make it difficult for Kevin Sukumulio. I, I think it's it's very very dangerous because you might be successful at one point, but he's like. Um, um, one of those um, that pops up of a box and so on. Even if you contain him for a while, then he suddenly pops up and makes two or three really, really amazing um, yeah. shots. So our first challenge of this match, challenge by the Indian pair. They thought it was out, but it was plumb on the line. So, OK, Steve. You've been brutally honest, and I like that. I very much like that. But if you if you were coaching them and you don't know, you don't really believe they can win. You just set targets within the match, do you, for the player, or what? What do you do? You say uh, try something different. You give them different tactics to try, or do you set targets, or perhaps a bit of both? No, uh, 
Yeah, if, if I totally, but that would have to be a much bigger mismatch. I yeah. don't think it's a, that that big a mismatch. I mean, yeah, it would be a big surprise if they win this match. But uh, do I want to put my house on it? No, no. I don't. No. Um, but I if there's a really big mismatch, then you put some specific targets as okay. to, to play or yeah. Um, sometimes we even had time. They stayed on court. But I was impressed with um, Rankaretti and Shetty uh, yesterday, especially their defense. Uh, Flandy, uh, Impele, the English, uh, the uh, he was playing in England for a while, but he's Indonesian, the Indonesian yeah. coach in India. He's really um, got the defense going, um, and that says something when it's against Lee Jun Hui and uh, yeah, Yu Shen, sure. like it was yesterday. Uh, good flat defense. The problem here is that if you play a good flat defense here, then you have that man there, and he's not going to keep on missing those opportunities. Smash from yeah. Super Mario. That's clever. Five, and I think he's improved from the backcourt area. Just as I think that when Gideon plays his best, he's actually improved as a frontcourt player. Um, but I think we should also expect that that as we get closer and closer to uh, finals day, perhaps. Uh, the concentration level raises on the uh, Indonesian side. Put. Well played. Yeah, that's a super shot. Lovely example of how he's improved his front court play. Good control. Oh my goodness. Way off balance, Shiraz Shetty. So yesterday they were looking for flat game exchanges, and today they must try at all costs to avoid it. Oh my goodness! Why? That's why. That ran the head shot from Sukumolio. They just crouched down. Return to drive and around the head drive back. Yeah. Five straight points. <laughs> That's not so nice when that happens. <laughs> well, yeah, not if you're an opponent. Great for us to watch. Oh, that's gone too long. Too flat. Six straight points. We've got to make sure that um, they got angle on their attack. Shetty and um, Ranky Reddy. Actually, I mean, now they're not playing together anymore, and they were getting old, uh, Bo and uh, Morganson, but they were some of the players who tactically um, was able to um, be disciplined enough to play the correct style against um, Gideon and Sukumulio for, for tall players. Take all oh. pace off. Playing yeah. with angles and uh, focus on small areas at the net, and if the shuttle comes there, then you have a really good chance. Otherwise, you basically just play 50-50. Uh, um, they still had a really big losing record against um, Gideon and Sukimuli, but they have beaten them a couple of times. It's too steep. So to the mid-game interval with a two-point advantage to the three-time defending champions. The defense also don't panic. It's clear. I don't follow the style. 
even for this time. Yeah? Okay, lose control, but focus with heart. Yeah? Focus. Don't hurry. Yeah? Come, no. keep focus. No, Satvik, break that ready. Don't hurry. Stay focused. And then you will see what Flendy means when he's leaving the court. He doesn't hurry back <laughs> to his chair. <laughs> he's the exact opposite of uh, Cho Tian Chen's coach. Victoria Kao, who's the fastest from the chair <laughs> to the kit boxes. There's no match. No. Yeah, he's, he's definitely um, emphasizing. Uh, don't hurry. Take the speed out. Take the pace out of the rallies. Good interception from Sokomori of Steen. You were mentioning Bo and Mogensen. In fact, it was Bo and Mogensen that Gideon and Sokomori beat the first two finals that they won here. Yeah. But Bo and, Bo and Mogensen were in five finals here, winning two of them. It was one of their preferred tournaments. They loved playing here. Love a uh, big stadium. Mm. Also did well in uh, Korea. You've got to be awfully accurate if you're going to play back to the net when this man is in the vicinity. Mm. Just re removing the necklace, I think. Yeah, try to be as light as possible on court. That's uh, advisable. <laughs> <laughs> no excess uh, jewellery. Goodness, that's just ridiculous. How on earth did they end up winning that rally? Yeah, it was because uh, Sukimulio tried to protect uh, Gideon from uh, getting hit by his shot. He was in the way. <laughs> he almost got him with the racket. Mm. The Dutch Open, um, was that three, four weeks ago? Vladimir Ivanov, the tall Russian, he lost one and a half tooth to his uh, countryman and partner, Ivan Sosanov. I can tell you he was not satisfied about that. <laughs> I should think he wasn't. It cost a fortune. Oh, look at the speed of that. You see, all you coaches, you keep telling us all the time about when you're at the front of the court, short, sharp movement of the racket head will suffice and so on. Uh, uh, Sukumolio just rips up that coaching manual and yeah. says, well, I'm going to have a big swing. And his timing yeah. is so good. It's incredible. He's so fast with the racket. Yeah. Oh, 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 happy with that one nice steepness So brilliant yesterday, <laughs> Shirak Shetty, in that flat game. Today, not so much.
Oh, look at that defence. That wasn't too bad either. Well played, well played. Yeah. Excellent play, reducing the pace on the first attack. Yeah, you're right about who he's targeting, though. You said right at the start they should perhaps try and target Gideon. Yeah. He's a really, really strong player, Gideon, but he's human. I'm sure in a couple of years we'll know that uh, this man actually is one of the very, very uh, advanced robots. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Well, that just sums up Super Mario, doesn't it? I you just hate it when people smash back at your smashes. <laughs> That's just remarkable. And then the showman <laughs> to put the shuttle away. Yeah, you're right. He literally smashed back a smash. Yeah. Two points away from the opening game. One point away. Begging. Yeah. Opening game, twenty one sixteen for the three time defending champions, Marcus Van Alvi Gideon. And Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. He plays it way behind his back, that shot. Yeah. Fabulous the way that this young Indian combination after the injury rose to Aranki Reddy fractured his sternum, his, breast, his uh, chest bone while on holiday at a water park and to pull out of seven tournaments this year, which is why they've only played ten tournaments but they really have established themselves as contenders certainly for the latter stages of the tournament, if not for titles. Yeah, and they're actually, um, a sign of that is that they are currently uh, seventh on the uh, race to Tokyo, the Olympic qualification list. That gives a good um, view on how well they've played since 1st of May. Ooh. 
But only 23 on the race to Guangzhou. Yeah, for the because World they've, Tour missed they've missed so the many tournaments. The yeah. For three start. months, actually. Yeah. Good rally. The first one he saves uh, Sukumunu. In the service situation, Shetty, he plays it so well. Pays off. Sliced, smashes. Thinks Shetty and Ranky ready, but uh, lost the rally anyway. Longest rally of the match so far 28 shots. I think you had a 95 shot rally in the women's doubles, didn't you, Steve? You had some long. Yeah, I think 95 ones. was. I'm not sure I paid attention to all of them, but uh, yeah. I think there was one in 95. Oh, goodness me, it's dropped his racket. Quivers Fukushima, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> also lost the racket in a backhand swing. considerable margin some of the defensive play in that rally absolutely extraordinary Don't you just love it when the players respond yeah. when I'm about to, to compare and say, well, the women's doubles is so much tougher because you've got to play rallies at 95 <laughs> shots. And here we, we'd only have a rally at 28 shots and they come up with a 52 shot rally. Brilliant. Love it. And just um, touching back on one of the points we discussed, I think this is one of the rallies that really fires Sukumuli up that he wants to win those rallies. I don't think he necessarily just wants to win, he wants to win in a uh, audience friendly way. Mm. Yeah. In other words, he's the showman. The showman and, and the, um, the ability to do things no other player can do. Yeah. It's definitely, in my opinion, also some of his uh, motivation. I think I have a theory about that along those lines. Yep. Because I think they are vulnerable, this Indonesian pair are vulnerable in the early stages of the tournament when the spotlight isn't on them. Yep. And when uh, this is the only court in action now on semi-finals day, and yeah. I think he loves it, that yeah. all the attention is on him, everybody's watching his match, and he That's rises to the occasion. Yeah. But he, and he it's oh. fantastic there to play with a player like that, or to coach yeah. a player like that, the ones that actually gets better when uh, things get heated up. Oh, yes. 
great reaction to the flick serve and the drive serve, really. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Oh, he's challenging that. I don't think he'll win that challenge, will he? There we go. I'll just walk down and say, yeah, I'm on the line. Challenger and successful. One challenger remaining. Ah, mind games. Good reactions. They tried to flick him twice, once by Gideon, once by Sukumulu, and he's responded really well, Shirak Shetty. Oh, excellent. Super. He's moving his uh, racket, actually both hands a little bit around Shetty when he's serving. I discussed that with Morton during the French Open final. Yeah. And I said I thought that it was a little disconcerting that you don't get into the rhythm. M Morton seemed to think that maybe he was trying to suggest to his opponent, I might serve out wide yeah, yeah, and exactly. therefore you don't exactly. know where I'm going to serve to. I think I'd like to be in the, the same rhythm and just turn the racket head at the last moment to yeah. serve it out wide. One. One. Is over. Nine, eight. I've seen other players do it as well. But, um, it's quite exaggerated with Shetty, isn't it? Yeah. Defense from Satwick Sairaj Ranki ready. He's good in his line defense. <laughs> Ten, eight. Difficult for Ranky Reddy to get his uh, body out of the way there and difficult for Shetty to see where the shuttle actually is because 
must be hidden whilst the pass. Thank you, ready. Serve you thought might have been short. Yeah. That was a great serve. Play! Play! And indeed, it's the defending yeah. champions who have the advantage on a run of three straight points. Have a one point advantage at the mid game interval. Look at that serve. Skim the net. Absolute beauty. I know it's Sukumuri who uh, sort of scores this point here, but it's the drives from uh, Gideon who sets it up in the beginning. Excellent play. It's a very good point, Steen, because I think so often in a doubles partnership, especially this one where Sukumuri is so spectacular yeah. that we get blinded by his spectacular winner. And we forget that the only reason he's able to hit the winner is because he's been set up by his partner. That, that's, that's the thing. And uh, Gideon is um, to play the role here as a playmaker, and he does it perfectly. He's not supposed to go for those spectacular winners no. because they already yeah. have one person that does that. And if he yeah. starts to do it, then it becomes too much. Yeah. He's going to be stable. He's going to be solid. He's going to set things up, work relentlessly. Small changes in attack, good defense. Fabulous. This is getting better and better. It's very entertaining when stubbles because they they um, match each other so well, these two pairs. Uneasy in his coach's chair. Yeah, it really is Oi. quite a wobble, isn't it, on that serve? Oi! Wobble of a flap. Yeah. When he serves.
thinking I, I actually like the way uh, Chirac Shetty has approached um, this match here because you can clearly see that he's got respect for uh, Gideon and Sukumulu, but he's not subdued in any way. He takes his chances once in a while. Most of the times he gets punished, but he's also right sometimes. And how are you? How how are you else going to get better and sort of mm. try to match your opponent if you're not sort of challenging them when uh, you feel that the situation is right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then he comes close. Yeah, and then he makes a service error. 1815. It's been so much more appealing, hasn't it? And we've done well. Yeah, I, I think we've done well, uh, like Randy and Shetty. And, uh, 18, 16. I think it's about 50 50 at the moment who wins this second game. Got two points on Gideon and Sukumulu that might just be enough. And it might just take five rallies <laughs> to <laughs> not be enough. Uncanny ability, but I think it's way below the tape, the, the yeah. one that he plays there. Yeah. didn't hit. Getting way so off balance. And then so too was Ranky ready on that final shot. Oh, the main point is, it's now match point for the three-time defending champions.
Oh, it's just wide. I was just thinking of Shetty's serve to uh, Sukimulio at 19 all. There's not a whole lot of players that dares to play a flat <laughs> yeah. serve to Sukimulio at that time. Yeah, that takes guts. 20 all, extra points required, and there's until there's a clear two point winning margin. Yeah, much softer smash that time from Sukumolio had the desired effect. Second match point opportunity. Yeah, barely a half smash. Their final. Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. The three time defending champions uh, beating Satwik Sairaj, Ranki Reddy in two straight games, but two excellent games, especially that second game. So many fast exchanges and some long rallies, too. Look at that net shot from Sukamolio. Then behind the back. Yeah, he wasn't going to miss that last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even a showman on the final shot. So 40 minutes and the victory to Gideon and Sukhumar. 21 16, 22 20, and through to their fourth consecutive final and a chance to win a fourth consecutive title.